getting in, starting the day, and printing out some orders that came through online last night. So just gonna print them all out here so that we can go in and pack them up and ship them out. This one's for pickup, so I just gotta slap this paper on the box. This is the rack hallway. And then I just got to put the dimensions in and print a label. That good to go. This palette is where everything that's shipping out goes. So when the couriers come, they just look here, whoever's available, and loads them up. We got our big boxes over here. We got our leaf spring rack, which is so handy because before we just had like pallets of these things. They're so hard to store and really awkward to get at. Got our slider rack that Braden custom made as well. And then this shelf over here is all orders that are waiting for pickup or installation. So it's our pack and hold section. And honestly, the rest is just like storage of inventory. So when we're packing up orders or getting stuff ready for install, when orders come through, we just pull them off the shelves, label them, and then move them over here until they're ready to either be installed, picked up, or we pack them up to ship them out. I'm gonna answer this, uh, gonna answer this phone call right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Overland Outfitters, this is Spencer. Hello? There's nobody there. False alarm. <laughs> just a ghost call. Uh, so, what's on the agenda today? I'm uh, going to be getting back to customer emails. Uh, currently doing a quote for uh, a 529 re-gear on a third gen Tacoma and a couple of uh, air lockers front and rear. Day to day is uh, a lot of uh, customer relations, answering phone calls. Let's try this one, round two. Overland Outfitters, this is Spencer. I'm doing well, thanks for asking, how are you doing? I am Kyle Jones, I am the store manager for Overland Outfitters and currently I'm just working on some repricing, we've had price changes with some of our products so I just make sure our prices are all good to go. Day to day, just make sure everything's running smoothly in the store, um, make sure check-ins are getting done for the shop, make sure all the um, appointments have all the details so that techs know what they're working on each day as well. I'm Vera, I'm the orders manager and I guess right now I'm placing some orders, but I have a little pile that I work through every day and the funny thing is, is I just noticed that Spencer's order is the top one, so it's funny because Spencer always tells us to not let him buy anything, but it's like on a weekly basis I get an order from Spencer that I have to place. Usually I do like the orders and I place the order shipment stuff. Oh, and a lot of ETAs. So. If you're looking for ETAs, that's probably me talking to you. All right, are we ready to go? Yeah, what's going yeah. on? We're just taking a trek over to a shop, over to the shop for an inspection. So let's go. Got the truck dropped off and my chariot awaits. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> what are you up to? Rebuild customers, you know, making sales, helping people out, hopefully. My role in the shop has kind of transformed over the years and I've become a bit of like a, a kind of a floater, I guess, where I'll like, I spend a lot of time here, this is my office, and, uh, but I'm also like designing things like this bumper mount kit or whatever and then I also jump into the shop and work on the tools when I have to and then I shuttle vehicles around and I'm also like trying to guide our vision of the whole business like you know our, our future with the you know like a few years from now or whatever so yeah it's, it's an interesting job it's fun also I do the videos and uh, so yeah lots of work always working on something but something that I've been working on lately that I'm really excited about is that we are actually expanding to the USA. So with our website, we now have a Canada and a US version of the website. 
So overlandoutfitters.ca is for Canada, and then overlandoutfitters.shop. That is our US website, so you can go on there and order things in US prices, and we'll be able to ship them to you. The pricing is a little bit funky right now. Uh, we're working on that. So if you end up on there and want to buy something, and you're like, oh, the price on this is insane, just shoot us an email with with something else and we can probably price match it. Definitely excited about that, super stoked to expand because I know a lot of you guys are actually in the States. So yeah, hopefully that's something that you guys are interested in. But it's something I've been working really hard on and, and I'm really excited to announce it, so woo. We're doing a, a new job that we're really excited about. We haven't done one of these yet. We're working on this thing and we're doing the JD Fab I don't even know what you call it, the rear frame brace bracket thing. And it's basically gonna support the entire rear end of the frame because these frames are so flexy, they just wobble all over the place. So this thing is gonna be insane. So we've been cutting already. So yeah, basically we cut everything off. There's no more leaf brackets, there's no more gas tank bracket, no more bump stop brackets, there's no shock mounts. It's all gone, just bare frame. What this kit is gonna do is it's gonna reinforce and gusset the entire frame and put all these mounts Frenched in and super strong. And then with the kit, we're also doing a full shock mount relocation. So instead of having short shocks here, it's gonna be big long shocks up here and we're relocating the shocks both to the front of the axle and he'll get a lot more travel and droop out of it. So super excited about that. But as you can tell, this truck is super heavy. It's got all the, the overland fixings. I don't know if you've ever looked in the mirror while you're driving off road in your Tacoma, but you can watch the whole bed just doing this. So he has a deck system. He has all this stuff. He has water tanks here. He's got his tent, he's got the awning. He's probably got 700 plus pounds in the back and he said that he's not even loaded for camping right now. So I'm assuming he's getting close to a thousand pounds when he's all loaded up. It's a lot for a Tacoma and it's a lot for this stinky little frame. So this kit is gonna be insane. I'm really stoked about it. So this is basically the kit we're installing from JD Fabrication. It wraps the frame and then it gussets it. So the frame itself sits here, it's just C-channel. And then you add all of this extra bracing on the bottom, plus all the side frame plates. And then you have this the leaf hanger right here, and it's Frenched in to the frame, so you're not getting hung up on the leaf spring hanger and bending it or mangling it in any sort of way. Uh, the other thing that it does is you have these shock mounts. Basically, you're going to have this shock mount, and then you can fit up to a 14 inch shock under the bed and it all just bolts on instead of having to weld to the frame. So, super cool kit. It's our first time installing it and I'm really excited about it. So, glad to have you guys along for the ride. Start cutting off the uh, shock mounts on the bottom and then we can relocate for the new ones. The tube sander, it's kind of a funky tool. It's kind of fun though. So what Matt's about to do is he's gonna cut the cab mount the rear cab mount because you need to clearance it a bit to have this plate come up. So we're gonna cut it back so that we can fit the plate on and then we'll test it again and then we'll see what else we might have to do. For the box mount, uh, we had to notch part of it out uh, so that the plate could fit flush up against the frame. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I made a little piece here. We can just fit in there, weld it in nice and flush. And then we're not just leaving like an open hole inside of the box mount. We're almost on the first side. We just have to do the lower shock mount and put the leaf spring in. But other than that, the frame brace kit is on, the shock is hung. That's gonna come in and out a few more times still, but uh, this thing is so beefy, it's so solid. 
Really stoked on how it's coming out. It's gonna be a game changer, I think. So that's pretty much a wrap on this install. We got the frame brace in, we got the D release springs, the King bypasses, archive garage, bump stop, and u bolt flip. He already had the hammer hangers from a previous install we did, but the frame plate is all installed, clean, it's looking so sick. He actually ended up with 13 inches of wheel travel here on a 14 inch stroke shock with spring over is pretty good, honestly. So really stoked on how it all came out. Yeah, I hope he's really excited. I think that the, just the way that this truck is gonna ride is gonna be so much better than it was, especially with how much weight he has on this truck. So yeah, really excited to hear what he thinks and, and uh, how it feels once he's back out on the trail. But yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for, so much for subscribing and we'll see you next time. Bye.